I'm all messed up. Okay, good evening everyone. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. Uh-oh, what did I just do? Oh, gosh. There we go. Okay, let me know if you can hear me. Okay, so we've got Judy here, Melissa. Hey there. I have no idea what I just typed for the title. I was typing and I accidentally hit enter and um, <laughs> I have no clue what I named this. Hi there. Um, in fact, I'm going to go run over and look at uh, Facebook really quick and see what the title of this is. Oh, it's like roasting in here. Okay, I don't think there is a title, right? Yeah, there's no title. Okay, that's perfect. No title. I can live with that. Um, okay, how are y'all doing? Hi there. Okay, so you can see the uh, projects that we're uh, making, making tonight. Uh, they're super quick and easy. And so I know uh, that these projects um, are going to make some people happy tonight. And they're actually going to make some people angry. Uh, and the reason is because um, the Trucking Along Bundle is currently on back order. But it is coming back in stock. Oh, Trucking is the title? Okay. I never get to. I never got to finish typing. I accidentally hit enter. Um, I guess we are trucking, right? So anyway, this bundle is one of the online exclusives that was released um, last, last week. And I know some of my customers got it because I looked at y'all's order. So I know that y'all are going to be happy to see the projects that we're making. Um, and then... Um, for those of you that don't have it yet or hasn't been able to order it, it will be coming back in stock. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be making any more projects after this week. I don't know. We'll see. I really love the truck a lot. So much. It's so cute and it's so easy to use. So I will explain um, this really quick. I pretty much case this from Stampin' Up! I made a couple changes to it. This one I created myself, and this is our um, scallop, what is this? This is our scallop gift card box. So you open it up, and there's a gift card inside, and um, it has this cute scallop edge. You could forego the Velcro, and you could just tuck this in like that. Um, I decided to use the Velcro because I like the scallops, right? And I did put a Christmas greeting on here, but you could use a birthday or a baby shower. Wouldn't this be really cute as a baby shower? Uh, so Kathy says she was able to get the punch, but not the stamp set. That's correct. The stamp set will be back because Stampin' Up! makes those. And then this is just a really quick tag using the So Very Merry stamp set that's also an online exclusive okay so these two are kind of sort of my thing and this i cased and let me show you what's inside there just one of these i don't know what they're called yummy right okay so if you would like to enter to win our live chick candy tonight um i'm giving away a sample it's one sheet of all of the paper so this is uh, instant YouTube. Oh, I, I named that the wrong thing, didn't I? I was supposed to say live. So 107, 108, 109. So I'm giving away three prizes live tonight at the end of the video. And let me give you the link real quick. And let me take this off of there. That is taking up too much of my screen right now. There we go. Oh, you can kind of see my desk a little bit. Let's see. How about that? <laughs> okay, I'm getting the link. Now, I have not cut the paper um, yet, so we're going to be doing that. But the projects are really, really quick and easy tonight. So in the comment section and in the... So if you're on Facebook, it's in the comments. Okay, my hair keeps getting in my mouth. Uh, and if you're on YouTube, it's in the chat box. There you go. 
Okay, we're going to start with this one here, and I have, I think, all of my stuff organized. I say that, um, and then I'm looking for it. Here we go. So we're going to start with the bag. <laughs> I bought the candy, too, because I, it kind of sort of helps uh, to make the project. So my stamps are behind me. Now I use my blends. I've told y'all this before and I will remind you, I am terrible at two-step stamping. I got myself two of these just in case I messed up. Um, yeah, uh, Debbie Nutty Buddies. <laughs> That's what Sarah says these are, little Debbie Nutty Buddies. I get them confused with those ice cream nutty buddies. Okay, so I'm stamping special delivery with Memento ink. And then I am using Memento ink to stamp the truck. Because I'm terrible at two-step stamping, um, I have to color it with my blends. I cannot, I cannot do it. I can't do it. I tried. I know. Can't never could. I should practice. But you know, when we had the Stamparatus, it just made things so much easier. Okay, so we are using on this project uh, uh, mm, mm, Light Granny Apple Green, or you can use Parakeet Party. Uh, light Real Red and Lemon Lolly right yeah oh and smoky slate i'm going to start with the easiest the smoky slate uh oh i should have brought my other glasses oh well okay done with that and then now for the light real red I decided that I actually like the truck a lot in the um, balmy blue. Don't y'all? Okay, so every week I say I'm a hot mess, and this week I'm especially a hot mess because um, I'm smack dab in the middle of cutting for Card Club. And oh my gosh, I'm, um, I'm a little tired to be honest, but we are um, more than halfway done. Yeah, we're probably three quarters of the way done cutting. And uh, tomorrow we should, I think, finish up the cutting. And then Thursday we'll work on packaging all the, the stuff. Um, we gotta separate the paper, the designer series paper and pack the little swag bags. One of these days, I should just turn on the camera every time we start working on it and do like one of those little time frame things. Uh oh, I went out of the line a little bit. That's because I'm using the brush tip. What was I thinking? Because it 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 gets a it colors a bigger area quicker that's what I was thinking right I think that's I think I'm done yeah okay now we're gonna cut it out with the handy dandy punch oh di uh, Sarah said she wonder how the truck would look in copper clay like the Disney cars that's a good idea <laughs> okay now we have to color the presents and then we're going to fussy cut those And then real red. This one's a little tricky because 
uh, that bow is kind of small. The ribbon, you know, on this bow. There we go. Now, my paper snips. You could just stamp this, uh, the presents, right on the tag if you wanted to, but I kind of felt like um, fussy cutting it and adding it where I wanted was a little bit easier for me. But there's definitely room for you to stamp it on the tag. Okay, so we're just going to add the truck with Stampin' Dimensionals. That's the mini. And then I'm going to add this with a glue dot. I'm laughing just because normally I use liquid glue, but... It's so easy to use a glue dot. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and put our Nutty Buddy in there and wrap the ribbon. So this ribbon is also one of the online exclusives. Said it would it would make a fun mater is that what you just said a fun mater okay now I got to think about this so when I go to tie the ribbon I want the polka dots to show through and then then I have to twist this piece so that we see the polka dots Did y'all see that twisting action? I think I did a video on that once. I think I did, like maybe more than once. I don't remember what I titled it though. Okay, then slide it up further to the top and then it's gonna slide under there and then we're gonna add our embellishments. Now, you could thread it through the ribbon if you wanted to, but I did not. I'm using the um, pebbled, pebbled Path. These are the in color dots. I don't know, I kind of feel like that's too big. Let's get this size. And then the little rut row. Okay, project number one is done. So super simple. Looks cute though, right? Now we're going to make the box. Lots of twisting, yes, lots of twisting. Now let me show you what would look really cute as well. So the reason that I made this is because I was like, well, what if they don't like the truck? What if they, they're not gonna get the truck? Well, then you could use this image on this bag as well. So that's why this is just a tag because I made it just in case you don't want the the truck and I love this image this is the image that everybody was asking about well they were asking about the truck and and the Santa um, before they were released and I kept saying I don't know what it is because we don't know but now we know right and it is already sold out but it too will be back in stock so the scallop gift card boxes 
There are 10 in a pack. And um, yeah, now we're going to get that packet, which is right here. Move this over. I gotta make, I gotta clean up my desk a little bit because otherwise I'm gonna start losing stuff. That's why every week I start to say, where is that? Because I don't tidy up after each project. So I'm tidying up. So to make this project tonight, since we already made it in, what color is that? Hold on. I don't even know. What color is this, guys? Y'all are like, are you losing your mind? I turned around to look at my ink pads, but I still can't see that far away. Balmy blue. That's the color, right? <laughs> yes, it's balmy blue. So the same pack of paper, but I decided to change it to pool party because if I if I make another balmy blue one, um, then I'm not gonna have any balmy blue cardstock left. So we're gonna we're gonna make the second another one in pool party. Sorry, y'all are going to think I've lost my marbles. I wanted to say bashful blue, which, which is a color that we had like umpteen years ago. Kind of sort of similar, but a little bit lighter. Okay, so fold these in. Fold this down. And when you know, I didn't even bring another uh, gift card with me. I don't. Oh, yes, I do. I have one right here. Thanks to Stephanie. Um, oh, wrong way. Let's see. So that goes in there. So like I said, if you want to, you can just fold that in. Um, but what I decided to do was add a Velcro dot. But we need to cut this paper first. I don't have um, the measurements. So if you've just joined us, I'm putting a link for you to leave a comment to enter to win the live um, chick candy for tonight. Okay, I need room. So the first, oh, where is it? The first piece is going to measure four inches. This is for the top by two and five eighths. Two and five eighths. Hopefully y'all can't hear the fan. It is roasting in here. Uh, the next piece is going to measure three quarters of an inch by three and seven eighths. This is for the front piece where we're going to add our Velcro. And then we need two pieces that measure uh, two and five eighths. Let's see what this is. Okay, two and five eighths by three quarter, and we need two of these. And I'm sorry I don't have the measurements on the screen for you tonight. Um, yeah, I know I normally do. I just I did not did not have time. Okay. Now, we're done with the paper trimmer. So here's the box, and I'm going to use my liquid glue. Let's see y'all's comments. Oh, I bought, can I just tell you, <laughs> I bought 10 packs of the gift card holder box because I think they're really cute. And I will tell you what I wanted to do first tonight, or today, when I made this. <laughs> yes, I just made these today. Um, I wanted to take like a really big, thick ribbon, like a really, you know, like a ribbon that's um, like a two-inch ribbon and just wrap it around and then add a cute little tag. So that's really what I'm probably going to do is just get a really big ribbon and wrap it around and just put a tag on it. So I'll have to show y'all a picture when I find a ribbon. We don't have, the biggest ribbon we're, we have is this white ribbon here. 
and um, and I'm using it right <laughs> my measurement on this may not be perfect either you might want to make it a smidge smaller like I think this was four inches you could you could do it three and seven eighths just like the front piece yeah you can make that three and seven eighths I sh hopefully I'll remember that you know what I'm gonna change it on my sheet so that tomorrow when I make y'all's free PDF I will mark it three and seven eighths okay yeah so for those of you watching it live it was four but I'm gonna cut it to measure three and seven eighths I have a I have a headache from I think the weather it's really hotter than heck here it's real humid Dave and I went for a walk this morning and ever since I got what well, wasn't this morning like what was it it was be right before lunch we went for a walk and it gave me a headache a hot headache a heat headache <laughs> I don't know what it is the weather Okay, now I'm going to give that a second to dry before I add the um, Velcro dot because I do not want to peel my paper back up, so we'll give that a second to dry. And while we're at it, uh, do the boxes come with the tilted gift card holder? They do, yes. In fact, you can see them right here uh, in the package. They do come with it. Yep. So this is this is an unopened package. And then I have the one I just opened when I got them in finally. Yeah. I ordered a bunch of them last week when we had that, um, what, what, whatever that special was that day. <laughs> um, okay. So we're going to add, let's add our um, circle next. Make sure I put the adhesive on the right side. And I'm adding it not in the center. I'm adding it a little bit more to the right just because the ribbon is big and I, I feel like it needs more room over there on the left side. But if you make it, you can put it wherever you want. Here's my Velcro. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this piece that I already cut. So I will tell you when I first made this box today, what I did was I wrapped this around and I thought it looked pretty cute, but I felt like number one, it was using too much ribbon and number two, I don't know, there was just something about it that didn't work. So I'm gonna show you what that looked like, but then I'm gonna untie it because I didn't feel like it worked. You know what I mean? Because remember how I said I wanted a really big bow on the box? So, that's what a really big bow would look like. Um, but it's still, I don't know. It, it just wasn't right. You know what I mean? So we're just going to make a bow and add it with a glue dot. I love this ribbon, though. I wish I had it in every color. It ties such nice bows. Okay, there's that. And then we're just going to add it over here, like I said, with a mini glue dot. Let's go ahead and add our Velcro dot. So I'm going to cut this off of here. Close this back up. Now these scallops, there's if you put it in the center, then it's gonna show. See? So you're gonna have to add it kind of off-centered. You could add two and then 
You could add two. You could add one here and one there, and then, and then it would be centered, right? Okay, I'm gonna hold that for a second. You can use uh, blends to color the ribbon. Yes. Okay, just wanna make sure that's stuck. But let me show you how that looks on this ribbon. So, let's, um, because we got to use this color in just a minute anyway, so we'll go ahead and get those two colors out. We have a ribbon that has balmy blue, or is this balmy blue? Yes, but it, it, I don't know, it, it's not my favorite. Some, like, I don't mind color and twine, but I don't know. I think it, I don't know, I don't like it. Okay, now, let's stamp our images. The truck again, and this time we're using Wishing You a Festive Christmas. Now let me show you an image that you could use. Did I put it in here? Uh, this is, what, what stamp set? In the sentimental park stamp set there's this um happy birthday right here or you are amazing your graduation uh there's tons of greetings in here i did cut it out but who knows where it went so you could you could this could be like i said a birthday um project but i'm not i'm gonna keep it the same <laughs> for tonight My nails do match. It's my fav one of my favorite colors. Yes. In fact, um, Chewy, the, the lady that does my nails, she said, we're getting low on this color. You might better order your own bottle. I came home instantly and ordered myself a bottle of it because I, I love the color right now. I think it looks really good since I have a tan, you know. Um, oh, wait. Why did I close that? I got to stamp the truck. Where's the truck? Did I put it back over here? <laughs> is it right in front of my face? Where's the truck? Oh, it is. Grr. Oh, well. I bet all y'all do that too, right? <laughs> this time I'm going to leave it right in front of my face. Like, really. But further away. Okay. I just got ink on here, so I want to wipe that off. I don't want to get ink on anything. And I'm using Balmy Blue and Smoky Slate. I learned how to drive on a truck like this. Um, the um, the four speed was, you know, in the column. Oh, let me tell y'all a funny story. So when we were at the lake house, uh, Dave and I ran out of gas in the golf cart, and Brooke had to come rescue us. So we called her and we said, uh, "Hey, uh, get in Dad's truck and come." Well, David told her where to find the gas can and where to get the gas to bring it to us. And she called me back and she said, I don't know how to put it in drive. I'm like, Brooke, it's in the column. Um, <laughs> she's never driven a vehicle where the, thank goodness it wasn't a four speed or a five speed, right? We would be hoofing it back to the house um, after we got gas. And, and and Dave took off. I actually drove the truck back and Dave drove the golf cart back. Uh, the people that, that saw us stranded the house, they started clapping. <laughs> uh, out of all these years, that's the first time that we've ever run out of gas. Oh, I colored it the wrong color. Grr. Y'all gonna have to wait and let me redo that. I can't do it. I can't. Uh, see, that's what I get for talking. I can color it real quick. Like, super fast coloring. I bet y'all are looking at me saying, pool party, pool party, pool party. And I just didn't look up, right?
Now, you know, this is how I color sometimes when I'm in here creating. Like, lightning fast. <laughs> and it's not perfect, but that's okay. I adore the truck, too. It's so cute. It can be used for so many occasions. Okay, so we're going to pop this one up, too, with a dimensional. I am almost out of the regular size ones. Uh-oh, I didn't stamp the presents, did I? Ooh, you know what? We better add the greeting first. Because if we don't add the greeting first... Then we're going to put the um, truck in the wrong spot. Okay, where's my white card stock so I can stamp the um, the presents? Oh, I don't want to use that circle. Here we go. Presents. I love monochromatic. Y'all already know that. So the color, the presents are all one color. I think I'm fixing to need to order myself a new uh, pool party uh, blend, Stampin' Blend markers. make it a little bit smaller so that I can fussy cut it but you could technically stamp it if if you want to on the circle okay now Isn't this so pretty? I love it. And then a mini glue dot to add the presents. And then we've got to add our embellishment. Which is rhinestones. I don't know if y'all noticed. I put them, I put one on each tire and then one in the middle of the present. So one here and one here and then one right there. Okay, what do y'all think? Cute, right? I could probably make the ribbon just a little bit shorter. I'm not going to though. It's so pretty. So y'all like so far? So two projects are done. Now, the last project we're going to make is just this tag, which is super duper simple. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and do some housekeeping notes really quick. <laughs> Becky, what are you saying about my hair? This is called card club hair. No, um, if that's what you're talking about, <laughs> it's my hair. That means uh, my hair is dirty and it needs to be washed. Uh, okay, some housekeeping notes. Number one, um, this is my current host code, and would you look at this? The in color treat bags is one of the items, so you get to choose whether you want um, Stampin' Blend markers or the treat bags. They're the same value, and all the details about this host code are actually on my website. Uh, our Chick Candy uh, 170 is still um, on my website. The drawing will take place after the 15th. So there's that. That's also on my blog. And um, I already gave y'all the link to enter to win Chick Candy. You know what? I did not add. Let me add the winner from last week. I want to show y'all. So uh, this right here was, give me just a second. 
because if I talk and do this at the same time, I'm going to mess up. I'm going to say the wrong thing. Uh, it's this one right here. Okay, so last week I announced YouTube Chick Candy 126, and um, Rhonda, you won. Uh, this is the product that she won, the Crafting With You stamp set, this embossing folder, and then this uh, fabric basket. So, Rhonda, you are the winner for last week's YouTube Chick Candy. I'm going to take that off the screen. I need you to please send me an email. I need your mailing address, and I will put my email up here on the screen. Or you can use that URL. Okay, let me hide that one. Now let me show you what's going to be available. Uh, so this week's YouTube Chick Candy is the So Very Merry stamp set and a sample of the One Horse Open Sleigh Designer Series paper. Okay? And the way you enter to win this YouTube Chick Candy 127 is you leave a comment on this video after the video is over. And you'll have between now and next Tuesday... Uh, to enter to win. I draw the winner about two hours before I go live. So all you have to do is leave a comment on YouTube when the video is over. Because right now the chat box doesn't count. Yeah. I think we had, I think there was like, I don't know, 90 something entries for the other one. So yeah. And we're using this image tonight. Okay. Any questions before I... Um, start on the tag which is we're going to be done in like five minutes yeah my husband's cooking dinner i don't know why but i am starved today <laughs> i don't know why i am okay so the image is right here behind me and i'm going to ink it up on um with memento ink ink it up with memento ink memento it almost sounds like pimento, right? I don't like pimento. <laughs> okay, that's done. And then we need to stamp the greeting on the tag. I feel like I'm forgetting to do something or say something. I probably am, but I'll be here next week. And if y'all... Um, I haven't been able to look up and answer many questions. Karen says I'm starved from stress. Um, what else does the truck punch out besides the trunk? You know, I did. I said trunk, truck. Uh, I think that might be a wheel. I think this Dumaflachi right here uh, goes, let's see, I don't want to waste that paper. Let me finish this project and then, and then we'll, uh, I think, yeah, let me, let's finish this and then I'll show you. Don't let me forget, okay? So for this, I'm using uh, Real Red, both colors, dark and light and dark. And then um, Pecan Pie, Copper Clay, and Mossy Meadow. Yeah. So I'm going to start with the dark real red. So what I was trying to say, and I didn't finish my words, is that if you posted a comment in the chat box, and I did not see it, which I didn't see very many. <laughs> um, my email is on the screen right there. You can shoot me an email. I'm concentrating because... This is such a beautiful image. I don't want to mess it up. OK, 
Okay, we're done with the real red. Now, um, Mossy Meadow. And I'm going to start with the light first. Right? Yeah. Ugh, wrong end. Well, I could use the other end, but I better use the, uh, the bullet end when I'm live. I don't want to mess up. I have more control with this tip. Some people say they have more control with the other one. I actually don't. I just got this stamp set in today. Um, I ordered it. I had the worst luck sometimes. I ordered it second day air, but of course it did not arrive second day air because if you do the math, today would be the third day, right? Okay, every other one. Although I'm, I'm not going to complain because I did get it, but... If I had gotten it yesterday, I would have had a little bit more time to work on some projects. Now the dark mossy meadow. I know y'all are probably looking at me saying, does she really color like that? Yep, I really do. Quick and get her done. Yeah. Oh, I forgot my petal pink. I have to look for that. I just remember petal pink for his face. So if, if any of y'all watched um, The Witcher yet, I have one and a half episodes left. And... I am going to finish it tonight. I am not going to bed until I finish watching season three of The Witcher. Okay, now, uh, pecan pie. Oh, I just remembered I've, I missed a section there. I'll go back and get it in just a minute. Okay, so a question I've been getting a lot of is, um, when is the holiday catalog coming out? That is September is when it's going live this year. So I know that is a change from last year and the year before and the year before. So yes, it is going to be going live the first week of September. And um, I will be purchasing the catalogs um, the last day of July. So I will put the form on my website um, next week for y'all to um, request one. I, I do ask that you have ordered $50 from me in the last 90 days, three months. Uh, the catalogs are not cheap. The shipping is not cheap. Uh, sales are down. So I don't really send catalogs to... I know that sounds terrible. I hate saying it because... I get it. The theory is, well, if you give me a catalog, I'll order from you. But you want to know how many times I've heard that? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm going to put the form on my website and um, y'all can, I'll send out emails and give y'all reminders, but we still have some time. Like I said, I'll order them on the last day of uh, July. Yeah. I'm ordering them that day. Yeah. Okay, what did uh what did Tina say? Um so Valerie said Tina said something. <laughs> Becky caught the little corner I missed. Oh, it would be amazing on Vellum. You're right. Yes. So true. Yeah. And we have Vellum, right? Okay, now where's my tag? There's so many markers here. And now I'm going to add the ribbon first. Now you can thread it, you know, if you wanted to. 
Uh, this is two pieces that measure 11 inches. So you could, you could, you could do it like this. Um, or you, or the other way you could do it. This is something I really like to do. Let me see if I can get it done. There's multiple ways to to tie your ribbon, but this is. like that. Of course, this two pieces of 11 inches, that is really long. But then what this does is this allows you to actually tie this onto a gift bag if you wanted to, okay? So then this goes, whoo, it's a little, I stamped the greeting a little, a little high. Yikes. Uh, okay, let's take this out. Especially since I added the, the greeting too high. I'll do my double bow again. The Witcher is a show on Netflix, and I will say that it's not for everyone. Um, it is somewhat, um, I gotta start over. It is, uh, it is somewhat violent. Um, if you don't do violence, you won't like it. It's like fantasy. I guess you could kind of compare it to like, I don't know. I can't really compare it to Game of Thrones because it's not like that. Um, yeah, watch the trailers. The trailer will help you. I watch it because I, everything that my children watch, I watch too because... Yeah, we did the Lord of the Rings series, the Harry Potter series, the Twilight series. You name it. If my kids did it, I did it with them. We used to actually go to the, the movies at midnight to see the releases. The last time I did that, it was the final edition of The Hobbit. And I didn't get home until like, I think, four in the morning. And that's the last time I've done it. <laughs> I'm officially too old to, to stay up until four in the morning just to see a release of a movie. I'm now I'm like, okay, I'll just wait until the next day. I don't have to see it on night number one. But it was a lot of fun all those years that we used to do that. Stand in line for hours and it was so yeah, it was so much fun. Now I didn't add any embellishments on here. I just felt like it didn't need it. Okay. Um, let's see. Where are y'all at? There you are. Oh, The Witcher's based off of a video game. That's right. Yes, The Witcher's based off of a video game. And I have to tell y'all, I did buy it for my Switch and, um, could not do it. I did not, I could not, I did not play it probably, <laughs> like, maybe 30 minutes and then I was like oh I can't do this it's not my kind of game I prefer Animal Crossing I'm an Animal Crossing girl uh, the Witcher I like I like the actors and the actresses and everything but um, and I enjoy the series but the video game is too much for this girl it's for the younger generation okay so what do y'all think cute right now we need to do our instant prizes before everybody leaves. Um, I will have a free PDF um, for all three projects tomorrow. And I will tell you, it will probably be later in the day. Bella's got a grooming appointment and I've got a couple uh, appointments. So it will be mid to late afternoon before I have the PDF ready, okay? But it will be free. Okay, so I'm going to pull up the form. I'm going to give y'all the link one more time to enter to win. <clears throat> and if you've um, entered to win, I'm not going to do anything with your email addresses. So you don't have to worry about me um, sending you a bunch of emails. I, I trash the form every time. Uh, the name of the white ribbon is the white... It's actually not, it doesn't even say white. It's just herringbone ribbon. Yeah. Herringbone? Herringbone. Yeah. 
I love it. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, I'm going to go pull up the form and then I'm going to share my screen so that y'all can see um, the drawing. Do, 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 do. Okay, we have 100, 100, 110 that have entered to win. Hey, uh, before after we do this, stick around for a minute. I'm going to ask y'all what y'all bought on Amazon today. Okay, let me close the link. So the drawing is officially closed. And then now I'm going to uh, copy and paste them. Okay, copy. And then I'm going to go pull up Wheel of Names. And i got to delete last week's names. Okay, and I'm going to paste these in front of y'all so y'all can see me. So let me click on screen share. Okay, y'all can see the screen, right? So I'm going to paste the names from today in. And i got to erase first and last name because <laughs> that was the top of the column. Okay, here we go. Winner number uh, 107. Congrats, Joni Gordon. And I'm going to draw the next one. This would be for 108. Oh, Ellen. Okay, um, I think I just misspelled her name on my form. Give me just a second. I got to fix it. I believe you are a card club member. Remove one more time. Shelly. Okay, I'm going to remove my screen and then I'll recap the winners real quick. Congrats to all of y'all. Uh, did I remove it? Yep. Okay. So the first winner, Joni, Helen, Ellen, not Helen, Ellen. Sorry, Ellen. I mispronounced your name not once but twice. And um, Shelly. I just need y'all's mailing address, and down here at the bottom right here, you can see my email, okay? Or you can use my Chick Candy form, either way. And I will ship these out immediately. I'm not behind on shipping anymore. Okay, so y'all tell me real quick, uh, did y'all buy anything today on Amazon? I'd love to know, um, yeah, a, another um, congrats to all of our winners. But did y'all find anything fabulous on, I'll tell you what I found today was garbage bags. Uh, how do you guys know who the winners are? Uh, I just announced them. Yeah. Yeah, here's the winners. Shelly. Yeah, here's the three winners. I could leave it here in front of everybody. Yeah. Oh, you're waiting for tomorrow? Okay, so um, Ked Sneakers, a new printer. Okay, I have to tell y'all, I bought garbage bags this morning. <laughs> I know that's funny, but let me tell you. I got 120 garbage bags for $14, and they're normally $28. Yeah, so I got two boxes, one for this house and one for the lake house. That was a good deal. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got a new set of Apple AirPods. They were $89, version two. Um, I wear my AirPods every day a lot, and I've gone through two sets of them. Yeah. $89 is a pretty good deal. They're normally $129, I believe. <laughs> so Vicky bought 
headphones for the hubby, and a decorative plate rack and tape runners. Hmm, decorative plate rack. Uh, portable SSD. That's a good deal. Um, bar stools and pen refills. You know what I need to do? I need to see if these are on special. My erasable Frixon pens. Uh, I actually have uh, Amazon pulled up on my other uh, web browser right now. I was looking at uh, Silpata to see if... <laughs> I was looking to see if there was any bracelets or anything on special. Who doesn't love a deal? Joan says she bought an Elvis shirt, some light bulbs, and a magnetic phone connector. Magnetic phone connector. Hmm. Cascade was a great price. Huh. I'll have to check that. Yeah, so after dinner, I'm going to go back to Amazon and look and see if I can find any other deals. If y'all are looking for a Kindle, I saw that they had a really great price on, on a Kindle today. Yeah. A Blackstone flat top grill. Hmm. I never heard of that. I lo love Silpata too. That's what this ring is and that's what this bracelet is. So I was looking to see. Uh, I'm fixing to have to retire this bracelet. Remember I told y'all this is my second one that I've gone through. The clasp is officially breaking any day now. Um, it's going to bite the dust. I might see if I can find somebody to replace this clasp for me. But... Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't think it can. I don't know. Uh, Jennifer says, "Will I do a stamp class with the with what with what stamp set?" Uh, Bonnie got uh, a three quart pan, C chords. Oh, Sherry has it in two-tone, silver and gold. Hmm. Oh, you didn't? Well, I'm sorry about the delay. So, yeah, here's the names. Yeah, right here. Sorry, I forgot about the delay. Um, Jennifer, I don't know what stamp set that is that you said. If you'll, if you'll email me. Oh, they had a good price on the Apple Watch. Oh, David needs a new one. His is the version 2. And uh, it's starting to get a little dated. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sign off. My husband's going to be saying, what in the world are you doing down there talking about shopping? Y'all have a good night. And um, I will see you next Tuesday, same time, same place. And your free PDF for these projects uh, will be posted tomorrow afternoon on my website. Thank you guys so much for being here. Have a good night.